Chef 2, Part 2, continues rigging our character for Cartoon Animator 4, from a free vector graphic. The previous video Part 1, covers using Inkscape, to convert the image. Then Kriter, to create segments of the image, for rigging in CTA 4. Now, we will take the created PSD file of our Chef, from video Part 1 and, change the sprites in the free templates, to our newly created layers, using Krita. Then we will import our rigged character into CTA4. We will cover the steps to edit our character, both through the pipeline and the non-pipeline versions of CTA4. Note, for those who do not have CTA4 with the pipeline, there will be added instructions at the end for rigging this character. Open Cartoon Animator 4. Go to Actors tab, Custom, Character, down to, Rigging Templates. If you haven't already downloaded, and installed the Rigging Templates, pause this video. There is a download link in the description, and in the zip file are instructions to install. Select, Human Motion Bone F, for front facing. If you double click on the icon, it will automatically put the template in its zero position. If you drag and drop the template onto the stage area, use the zero key to reposition. If you don't start in the zero position, your animations may not work properly. With the template selected, switch to composer mode. Launch PSD editor. Once in Kriter, you'll be able to see, the correct file structure, for Cartoon Animator 4. Now, go to File, Save As. Make sure that you save this file, in a working directory, not in this location. Go back to Cartoon Animator and you can shut it down. Back in Kriter, make RL Bone Human and RL Talking Head invisible for now. Find Hip, in RL Image, and select that layer and the image. Select Chef2.psd tab, then Layer Hip, right click, and copy the layer. Go back to Human Motion Bone F.PSD, right click, and paste in our new hip layer. Select Transform Layer Tool, Move, and Resize our hip, to about the same size, as the original layer. Once you're satisfied with the placing and size, delete the original hip layer. Do the same operation, for each layer, that we created. If you hit, Ctrl A, it will reduce the transform tool size.
Move the hands layer, below the armor layer. Turn on RL talking head, go to center, and then face. Do the same operation, copying our created head layer, paste it in this location, then delete, the template, face layer. Save your work as a PSD file, and let's name it, Chef02. Open Cartoon Animator 4. Drag and drop, Chef02.psd into Cartoon Animator's stage area, Cartoon Animator, will automatically switch to Composer mode. Select, Edit Pose, and we can adjust the bones and graphics. Let's move the arms into the correct locations. Select, Layer Manager. Take the hip layer, and drag it above the legs and feet layers. Now the legs will appear behind the hip. When things look good, Let's save our new character. Select Actor, Custom, select the plus icon, and you can save your character there. Let's try out a few animations. I'm not happy with the head movement. If you have the pipeline version, go back to the PSD editor, and edit the neck.
When you make changes in the PSD editor, they will be automatically reflected in CTA4, when it is saved. Don't forget you'll need to save your character again, in the actor, custom, area. If you have the non-pipeline version of CTA4, open the rigging templates PSD folder. Select human motion bone F. Copy, then paste, to create a copy. Then rename the copy to, in this example, Chef 2.1. The second way is to drop the PSD file into Krita, and use the save as, function. This must be done, so that the original is not overwritten, when you modify this file. Do the same operations of switching layers in Krita, as we saw before. To edit the character already in CTA4, open it in the external PSD editor. Do your changes. But you'll have to re import the character PSD file with the changes into CTA4. Then, you have to delete the previous character and save a new copy in its place. I hope this cartoon animator for tutorial of character rigging has helped you. If you haven't done so already, please take a few seconds to subscribe, like and hit notifications, to be notified of my next video. Thank you, for joining my journey of animation.